would be in Las Vegas and so we selected the Oasis RV Resort in Las Vegas to stay at both on our trip to Utah as well as on our trip mm -hmm. back home. You know, one, we selected this place because they did have pull-through pads. The location was very close to the 15 freeway. The ratings on some of the campground apps were fairly decent, especially compared to some of the other options. We booked one night in both directions. And this also was before you got into that very congested downtown Las Vegas area you got to the RV park first, which avoided us going through that congestion at mm -hmm. the moment. So a couple of things that we liked about the Oasis RV Resort, they had lots of pull-through sites, and in fact, both times we stayed there, we never unhitched the trailer. So mm -hmm. this would just yeah, be- Very just, long sites. Yeah, just to stop for us, just to sleep uh, overnight. Mm -hmm. Full hookup options, including cable TV, so that was nice. The uh, price w I thought was fairly reasonable for a full hookup site. They had a number of amenities, bathrooms, showers, there was a store and a cafe, a pool, a restaurant, a fitness center. The Wi-Fi there was fairly decent, as, again, compared to like some other places we've been at. The showers were clean and spacious. They have a ton of spots for RVs. I believe there are like over 700 yeah, that they can accommodate. Area. So yeah. if you're going through Vegas, you know, it's an option to stay at. And if you want to experience Las Vegas, but in the comfort of your own house on wheels, this place may work out for you. There's also absolutely no shade. Now you're in desert in Las Vegas, so it can get quite hot. So you, now it does have full hookups, so you can hook up your electric and get AC, so that's a, that's a plus, but zero, zero shade on any of the spots. There are some spots in a couple of places where there is shade, they are backup spots. If you wanna walk anywhere, you're gonna find it very difficult because you have to cross the 15 freeway. We did spy a restaurant that looked like it was kind of just across the freeway. We thought it would be fairly easy to get to. It was a nightmare. It was, yeah. So overall, our experience at the Oasis was okay. It was good. Yeah. And it was ridiculously fast because we were just there for a quick overnight. We didn't even unhitch. I think we paid $60 a night to stay there for a pull-through pad, just for an idea of what that cost. And you know, those items mentioned, again, this is a, an option for where to stay with an RV when driving through Vegas. 